The North Dakota Game and Fish Department manages around 450 lakes statewide, which means the two federal hatcheries are busy raising walleye fingerlings for stocking and future angler opportunities. We're going to be plus or minus uh, a few fish of 10 million. And we're going to be really close to uh, an all-time record. Fisheries biologists decide what lakes to stock based on netting surveys on district lakes around the state. We stock just a little bit over 170 lakes uh, across the state. That's down a little bit because of not having full potential out of Valley City with uh, the zebra mussel issue and our trying to limit that to uh, the three lakes that are positive for zebra mussels. Weigel says around 2 million fingerlings were stocked in Lake Sakakawea, 310,000 in Devil's Lake, and 842,000 in Stump Lake. The eggs are collected by our state folks, taken to the federal hatchery at Riverdale or Valley City. They then rear the fish out in earthen ponds for you know, 30 to 40 days, and we end up with our one and a quarter to uh, one inch and a half walleye fingerlings right now. Um, and in the state, we come back in and uh, truck the fish to all these 170 plus lakes. The reason for stocking walleye fingerlings is some lakes don't have a lot of natural reproduction. We're able to, able to create walleye fisheries in areas that never would otherwise be. Uh, the other uh, uh, really unique thing we're finding is, is in a lot of this prairie pothole center part of the state, these lakes are crazy productive and uh, they'll grow a walleye to uh, say a pound in two, two years. Weigel says there were several other fish species stocked statewide, like 450,000 salmon in Lake Sakakawea, rainbow trout in a variety of lakes and community fisheries. This is the first time since the hatchery's existence not one lake was stocked with northern pike because of weather delays and hatchery space, but the pike populations are doing okay. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.